Okay, so looking at the upcoming Thursday session, we still have the congressional testimony going on, so there's the possibility that could move markets. I don't know how much it will, though. Generally, the markets have got what they need, I think. So at this point, uh, I'm going to start looking around the horn, and I see dollar Sweden, dollar Swedish krona. Looks like it's ready to break down. I'm going to aim for five and a quarter at this point on a breakdown below. I'm sorry, five and a quarter, nine and a quarter on a breakdown below 940. Pretty nice risk to reward ratio because I'd have a stop loss at 945. Uh, so uh, I think we do have the momentum to go lower on a breakdown below the bottom of the candlestick for the session. That would be yet another lower high so far is what it looks like. Plus with the Federal Reserve looking to kill the dollar, that would make a lot of sense. Dollar Swiss. I like shorting this pair right here and basically 99. It's at 98, 95 or something like that. So short at 99, looking for 97. Stop loss at parity. Pretty straightforward trade. We have broken through that trend line. Should continue to go lower, much like the other uh, candlestick formation that I just showed you. Um, you know, it's just a series of lower highs, and I think that's going to continue to be the case against the Swiss franc. Okay, so earlier today I sent out a signal that if we were above 60 for an hour on a close, it's time to go long oil. So now we have a scenario where we have formed a shooting star. This tells me there's a lot of sellers at 60.53. So this is the play going forward. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Uh, you can see that clearly there's a breakout. So above 60.53, I want you to add another unit. We want to get brutal with this. So at 60.55, stop loss. This is separate from your other trade, okay? Keep that in mind. These two have nothing to do with each other. 59.80. So that's trade number two to the upside on a break above. Basically the four hour, four hour candlestick or the daily candlestick really uh looking for 6250 on this move as well um however having said that you may want to be at break even at 61 dollars who knows how this will play out uh but but clearly i think we can add more risk here oil looks good all of a sudden you can see that we had a lot of volume in this area and we just broke through it so that's a really good sign so the ES, the uh, S&P 500, has had a very interesting day. We're closing uh, at uh, basically 3,000, just a bit under it. Go ahead and go to the daily chart here. And you can see it's a pretty bullish-looking candlestick. We uh, certainly have a lot of support underneath, especially right around 2950. So it's a pretty straightforward trade for me. If we break the top of the daily candlestick at 307.5, it's time to buy and aim for 3020 with a stop loss at 29.95. That's what I've got for you right now. I will, of course, send more out during the day as it appears. Um, we're going to have to be pretty selective with our trades. Right now, though, oil is the one thing that's working out really well. Oh, somebody did ask me to look. At gold and gold markets they they look positive but there's a ton of resistance up here and i still think it really wouldn't be surprising to see a a, a a pullback depending on what we see over the next couple of days i think we're probably going to see more consolidation we're closer to the top than the bottom now so again you want to take a breather on gold. It's had a significant move. It needs to digest this. So stay out of gold. If you're going to really trade anything at this point, precious metals wise, the trade is probably over here and silver. Okay, so silver had a very bullish run. And I think this is where you should be looking if you're going to get long um, precious metals right now. I, you know, gold's just had such a strong run that it's difficult to get overly excited about it. We are starting to approach some significant resistance. So on a pullback closer to 1515, I'm a buyer uh, looking to aim for 1530. Otherwise, probably going to have to let this go too. Uh, but silver may lead the way. If it breaks 1540, that might be the sign that, that gold's going to break out to the upside. All right, guys, got a question? Let me know.